the perfect roast chicken. So what I love to do with my chicken is to brine the chicken. So here I have about one quart of water that I infuse with some thyme, with some garlic, and all your fan will know the recipe by going on your website. And then I'm adding on it to that. And so this is, this is gonna be a, a, a brine that is gonna be a short brine. And then of course we have one cup of salt, kosher salt inside this. And this gets nice and melted. And what I do is I strain the brine after it's well mixed like this. And we add water up to a two cup of measurement. Uh, two quarts, uh, not two cups. Two voila. quarts, yes. So yes. here I have two quarts. I have two quarts. So that creates a brine that is almost like seawater. It's, um, I it's would say that. It's uh, always be know, brining, guys. Always be brining. There is never a time not to brine. <laughs> exactly. And what we do is we only brine for 45 minutes into this honey, thyme, garlic, bay leaf. And, and salt brine. And of course the brine, you want that to be chilled after you mix it. And once it's nice and cold, then you put your chicken into the brine and you cook it, you let it sit in the refrigerator for 45 minutes. And, and to that, after you can use a, a roasting dish and roast it in the oven at the same time as the potato gratin, or you can have a beautiful rotisserie like I have here, and you can roast it on the spit. And I always make a little bundle where the, the, the chicken fat is in it. It is a brush made of herb. Exactly, with garlic inside and all that. So this is really giving great flavor to the chicken. So you see my beautiful chicken here. And- um, Oh, it's gorgeous, chef, gorgeous. And that will be, uh, that has cooked for uh, 45, uh, 45 minutes. I started high at 425 and then finished at, um, I finished at uh, 350 and then the gratin, the potato gratin with it. And that was um, how, and you see the honey, the honey has helped uh, roast the chicken beautifully like this. Look at that glazy, gorgeous finish, right? So beautiful. And then, of course, you want to take the dripping.